If you're considering moving to Lafayette, California and you're wondering how far can the $600,000 get me, today we're talking about that in this video, so stay tuned. What's up everyone, it's Rachel Capel here with Taylor Williams. If you wanna know what it's like living in the San Francisco Bay Area, this is the channel for you. So click that bell to subscribe and smash that like button to learn all about what it's like living in the Bay Area. Huge shout out to those people that have been commenting on the videos and asking questions. We love them, so keep them coming. We got you covered when moving to the Bay Area. Just feel free to DM, PM, email, whatever you feel comfortable. We got you covered when moving to the Bay. All right, so today's video, what you can get for 600,000 in Lafayette, California. Let's get to it. So the answer to that is a big fat <laughs> You can't get anything for 600,000 in Lafayette, California. Sorry guys, <laughs> such a bummer. But what we can do is go over what you can get for above 600,000. So again, because we're living in COVID land, I can't really go freely to these properties and just you know, meander through people's places, but I'm going to go on um, the MLS and show you a report of what I pulled up that's over 600K and the kind of starting point and what you can get and what it looks like. So let's get to it. Let's go over niche.com, what Lafayette snapshot looks like. Overall, it's an A plus, A plus for schools, A plus for good families, and B for crime, B plus for nightlife, B plus for diversity, C for housing. Uh, the population is 26,000. Real estate median home value is 1.3 million, which makes sense, which is why we could not find anything under 600,000. Median rent is 2,000, and it looks like 72% of people here, um, they own their home versus 28% that rent. And I just wanna go down here. Crime and safety, again, is a B. And it uh, looks like you need to be making $157,000 minimum to live here comfortably. <laughs> Schools are great, AAA, A+. Plus. Uh, so obviously Lafayette is a great place to be. Okay, now let's get into what you can afford here for a million and up. I've got four properties here. One is at 1.9 and then one is at 2.6 and then another at 3.4 and then again, I just threw on the wild card of 25 mil. So let's take a look at the first one here um, in Lafayette. It is a 4'3", 3,600 square feet. Let's take a look at some of these pictures. So you can kind of see what you're looking at when you come to purchase a home here for 1.9 million. Obviously very secluded, really nice, unique property. Tree line streets, which I always talk about. This one is a bit of a unique bird obviously it's not your cookie cookie cutter type home which is often what you will get in lafayette maybe not this unique but you will definitely get a unique home that is not going to be a tract home uh one on top of the other so this place is pretty cool um it's like you know something i've actually never seen before pretty modern cool spiral staircase really nice living spaces you can make this your own the staircase you kind of have to be person that would like that kitchen nice fairly updated probably want to make some changes a lot of decking but in Lafayette you're going to get those tree lined streets that are really beautiful and your house will be nestled in essentially the hills and the valleys so you can have a lot of cool woods and places like that so it's nice and quiet all right now on to my next property at 2.6 million looks like you get five bedrooms four baths 2940 square feet and let's take a look at what it looks like again unique property nestled amongst the beautiful trees lots of steps and stairs which makes sense because you're in the hills it's pretty modern open for concept with all modern amenities nice tray ceilings cool nice updated floors you don't have to do too much to this like in comparison to the other one modern look cool tile updated bathrooms pretty kitchen uh, you think you get a little bit more of a kitchen for this price but I think you're kind of paying for the schools and the location here nice bathroom pretty you won't have to do too much to this house unlike the other one that's what 2.6 will get you Nice updated everything, paints pretty, barn doors. I love that for the closet doors. I like the cool tile on the bottom. 
neutral paint, nice bright rooms, cool little sitting area, like some type of yep, viewing or kids room, lots of stairs. Less deck though than the other house. <laughs> so that's what you get for 2.65 million in Lafayette. All right, now on to numero three, my $3 million property, 3.450. Five bedrooms, four bath, 5,900 square feet. Let's take a look at what you are getting. Pretty, again, like I said, nestles in the trees, that's Lafayette. It's absolutely gorgeous over here in the middle of the hills and the forest. Now, side note, if you are in the middle of the forest and trees, <laughs> You have to be aware of critters that can come in, so just know that there are going to be little animals <laughs> always around you. Look how pretty this is. Nice, unique front and back, side, very cool sitting area, great entertaining space, flat roof, cool doors, nice ceilings, tray ceilings, lots of detail. The flooring is really, really nice. Beautiful layout, nice open concept, lots of bright light coming in, huge fast kitchen. That's what I would expect for a $3 million home. Nice open concept. Surprise, there's no bar stools, but that's really cool. Sitting area, living, office, bedroom, really spacious, cool bathroom. Might want to do a little bit of touch up there. Or you can just, oh, that's nice. I like that with the bedroom and the sitting area. The barn doors kind of close it off. Very cool. Bathroom, nice washing, laundry room, another bedroom, bathroom. So you're getting a pretty decent house. I, in my opinion, some touch-ups need to be done cosmetically, but overall, you could probably move into this one pretty easily. So that's what you are getting in Lafayette, California for $3.4 million. All right, my fourth property, the Big Daddy here, 25 mil. Let's take a look and see what you get. Bedrooms, eight. Bathrooms, nine. Pretty awesome. 22,000 square feet. Nice. This is on Deer Hill Road to Upper Happy Valley. It's a really nice area of Lafayette, if you are familiar. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Cool. Pretty big. That is a pretty vast house to me. A little dated for my taste, but if you like brown, definitely worth it. That's beautiful. Indoor, outdoor living, tree ceilings. Look at all the detail. There's lots of detail going on there. Indoor, outdoor living. I love that. Awesome gym. You don't have to worry about getting shut down. <laughs> you just shut down in your house and go to the gym. Beautiful guest room, beautiful tub, spa resort. I love that tray ceilings. That to me is dated, but you know what? Hey, you get the money to spend, you can do it all over again. Awesome home theater. Very cool. <laughs> Everyone gets their own TV. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, basketball court. There you go, Steph Curry can come here, practice his baseball, basketball, bocce ball court, great entertaining, cool little golf area, got that little koi, some kind of feng shui pool over there, or pond. This is an awesome pool for entertaining. I'll take it, a little grotto action with the TV. You can't get enough TV, right? Make sure all your YouTube and Hulu's hooked up to those. Cool fire pit. You don't ever have to leave this place. This is awesome. This could be like a resort hotel where you could just have people and do retreats here. It's an amazing couch. I love that couch. And I love that there's no TV. It's awesome. So this is definitely a unique buyer. Um, surprisingly, surprisingly normal kitchen but still very cool. Maybe that's the working kitchen, I don't know, for the staff, but I like it. Cool little pantry area, vast, again, sitting area, major staircase, look at the grandia, look at that, that's amazing, look at that glass sculpture, that's awesome. Pretty front area, massive bedroom, I guess that's the master 
And that is a bathroom that definitely my taste needs to be updated, but hey, you know, cool nonetheless. It's each their own. Library, another sitting area, dining area. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Hold on, I'm going back to that picture. Look at this view right here. It's beautiful. The outside is beautiful. It just shows you how beautiful Lafayette is in the middle of the hills and the trees there. That is really pretty. So this is definitely a house where you have to entertain like massive amounts of people. <laughs> you have the, your kids can have the high school over. <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing, cool little bridge to nowhere. Look at that. So it must be the main house is here. The fun area is here. This is like a retreat area. I don't know what that kind of is, but that is pretty darn awesome. So that is what you will get for 25 mil. Call me and I will help you buy it. Promise. All right, so there you have it. You can't get anything for less than $1.9 million. Currently, that is what's actively listed on the market. Now, Lafayette does have some condos and apartments, but those are not on the market currently. So if you want to live in Lafayette, you need to make a pretty penny and be able to afford at least a currently $1.9 million home. So I hope that helped. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button so you can get stay tuned on all the great things we got coming your way, going over all the different cities in the San Francisco Bay area and what may suit your needs. So if you have questions, make sure to shoot them over, send them via text, email, DM, PM, whatever you feel comfortable. We got you covered when moving to the San Francisco Bay. Till the next video, I'll see you later. Bye.